Hey guys, it's Tixie here and welcome back to the channel. So this weekend I was really hoping to sit down and some record some live commentary Modern Warfare 3 gameplay videos here on the channel and specifically I wanted to do one where it was really relaxed, laid back and I could just talk a little bit more about Modern Warfare 3 and some of the issues I'm facing on the content side. But I was in London last night at a gig for my birthday and then me and my friends after the gig we moved on and did some other things and I actually ended up getting home at like 6 o'clock this morning. Jazz had me up at like 9 o'clock to take her to work and I've just been home and I've literally been asleep the majority of the day. So I don't really feel like playing any Call of Duty but I really wanted to at least record a video talking about these issues I'm finding with the content and kind of some of the ideas and changes that I'm thinking of making so that I can get some feedback from you guys uh, to see what you think um, because at the end of the day without you guys watching the videos there wouldn't really be an awful lot of point in what we do here. So um, basically I think to start with Modern Warfare 3, I'm not hating the game right, I'm, I'm actually kind of enjoying it, there's obviously some of the, the standard things that kind of can make it a little bit frustrating at times, specifically skill based matchmaking and how intense it can make the games, um, but overall I think the base game is, is pretty decent and um, you know I've been enjoying playing it, been enjoying playing it with my mates and you know I was quite clear about that as well in my, I think my week one review video, I was quite fair and I said that you know I was actually reasonably enjoying the game. I just think that the biggest problem is when it comes to content, you know, I'm not exactly putting out the most exciting content, I'll be honest with that, obviously the commentary side of it, we know what's going on with that, but in terms of the actual gameplay, it's not really that crazy, but that's kind of naturally what new Call of Duties are like now, like, it is very competitive, and yeah, you'll get the odd good game from time to time, but, you know, when you look back at what we've done on Cold War, and the consistency of the level of gameplays we dropped there in terms of high kills, and nukes, and class setups and stuff, you know, a lot of that was achievable, as I've mentioned in the past, because the matchmaking through year two, year three, was obviously not as strict as when the game first released. So that is, and we kind of expected that coming into Modern Warfare 3, I said that it would be like that. But I've just been looking at the content and I think something, I need to do something different because I can't just sit here and purely make Modern Warfare 3 content because some of the videos I've been putting out have been really struggling. I'm not gonna lie, they have been really struggling. I just think naturally, long form content and specifically gameplay content around Call of Duty has changed a lot over the years and it's a lot more difficult now I think to to stand out with that type of content but I also don't think that type of content is quite as um, you know popular now you've obviously got Warzone I know there's not much Warzone stuff going on at the moment but you know Warzone content is obviously always pretty um, pretty exciting I think that um, obviously ranked play when it arrives I think ranked play content can work but you almost still need to be at that higher level I think for it to, to really work and I think multiplayer gameplay specifically has just dropped off a lot and I think a lot of that is around skill based matchmaking because a lot of people do reverse boost now and I, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it I'm not calling anybody out for reverse boosting but I think it kind of takes away a little something from the from the gameplays and it can make it very difficult for anybody who's not reverse boosting if you get like an easy lobby people are just going to say that's what you're doing so it can be very difficult to kind of make that work and I think because of that people are not quite as interested now I mean back in the day you could get a really easy lobby destroy people and nobody would care but because of how the matchmaking works now you know people know when you're you know reverse boosting is like the complete opposite of what a normal Call of Duty lobby used to be yes you might get a really bad lobby from time to time but when you're just consistently getting these really low skill level lobbies where you could literally drop a nuke with any gun on any map it's, it's really not that exciting to watch and I guess, you know, that's kind of one of the biggest issues with multiplayer gameplay now is that people just don't know whether it's reverse boosted, whether it's not. So, you know, it can be quite challenging. And I think as well, you've got YouTube shorts as well now that, you know, I uploaded a short the other day and instantly just like got like 1.6K views, which is just, you know, and it, it took me like five or 10 sec seconds, it's like five or 10 seconds of gameplay. It took probably about a minute to five minutes maybe to like you know put it all together render upload it you know descriptions titles and stuff whereas long form content can you know it can take you an hour just to render the video and then you've got all the other stuff as well thumbnails and yeah it's just kind of mad really to think you know how how m many more views a short video can get than than a long form content um and the amount of effort that you're putting into long form content so i'm going to be sticking with modern warfare 3 up until the end of the year because i kind of said i was going to do that you know no matter how bad the views get obviously season one is just around the corner and i think there's some really exciting stuff coming with season one and credit where credit's due for sledgehammer i think since this game's released they've been doing all their best all the best they can you know to 
to fix things quickly you know listen to community feedback and you know the season one roadmap there does look like there's a lot of content coming so that is an absolute fair play to them so yeah we're going to stick around and hopefully we can get a few live commentary videos out there obviously with staying on pc i've kind of hindered myself again to having that one day a week where i can record content and like today because i was out last night I've kind of wasted most of the day just sleeping. So that's kind of on me. But hopefully we'll be able to get a few bits and pieces out. Um, and then going into the new year, we're going to be looking to make some changes. Um, and the changes that we make will be very much based on what happens in the next couple of weeks with the, the rest of the Modern Warfare 3 content I put out. Also depends what sort of feedback I receive from you guys on today's video. So the things that I'm looking to change are, first is going to be the upload schedule. We're going to be just completely random and uploading a little bit less. Now I know I kind of said that was my plan coming into Modern Warfare 3, but I still feel like I'm trying to stick too much to uploading as many as I can. And when I don't, I feel bad if I don't upload. So I think in the new year, I really am going to be trying to treat this a little bit more like a hobby. You know, there are other interests I have in my life and I think I just need to start finding a little bit more time for those things. And I think probably need to start focusing a little bit more on shorts just because I think if you upload just a couple of long forms a week and then a few shorts it kind of keeps your channel relevant keeps your channel you know ticking over keeps people viewing your channel but obviously shorts are so much easier to put together so I think that is one of the things we're going to be doing is focusing more on shorts to kind of support that long form content to allow me to be uploading a little bit less on the long form side um, in terms of the type of videos we want to do I'm going to be stepping away from gameplay a little bit now gameplay will still be there all right i enjoy playing call of duty i enjoy recording gameplays even if they're not that popular now i've had some some that have worked on black ops cold had some really really successful videos so we're still going to be doing that but we're going to be trying to kind of meet halfway and trying to do some more discussion based videos and what i mean by that is that it could be anything like it could be ranking maps it could be talking about whether a game is is worth playing in a certain year it's basically just picking a topic and talking about it because some of my most successful videos have been like that, right? My most successful video on YouTube is Was Black Ops Cold War Worth It in 2023, where I spoke about whether I thought it was worth buying the game. I think ranking the Modern Warfare 2019 maps is one of my most successful YouTube videos. I think I've got another one up there where Black Ops Cold War was free to play and when Black Ops Cold War got fixed after all the security issues. And I just think with discussion-based videos, you're, you're, you're giving your viewers something, right? Your viewers are coming in, they're, they're, they're reading the title and then they're getting something from the video. Whereas with gameplay, they might get a class set up or they might, it might be entertaining, but that doesn't always mean it's enough to draw someone in. Whereas if they've come to the video and they've thought, right, I'm thinking about getting Black Ops Cold War and then they watch your video talking about all the good things, bad things, giving your opinion, they're actually taking something away from that video. So I think discussion based videos are something that I enjoy doing, but they generally tend to take a lot longer to put together. So I think in the new year, we're going to be trying to meet a little bit more halfway and doing more discussion based videos, but gameplay videos will still be there. Don't worry, we're still going to be making those gameplay videos. It will just be maybe a bit more 50 50 rather than maybe what it is at the moment, which is probably like 90% gameplay and every now and then 10% of the time we do a discussion based video. Um, the other thing as well is that I'm just going to be trying to become a more general Call of Duty channel right. You know we had a lot of time on Black Ops Cold War. We tried Vanguard a bit. We tried Modern Warfare 2 a bit. We're now trying Modern Warfare 3. It's been a bit more successful than Modern Warfare 2 and Vanguard was. But I think following COD every year is still something that, that I want to do. And you know we're still going to be putting Modern Warfare 3 videos out in the new year. But I also want to just start covering the whole franchise, right? There's so many ideas I have for so many different games. And I just want to become a little bit more of a general channel, right? Not just be set on one specific game, you know? And I've seen people in the past say that, you know, I've seen people that have been making content on Black Ops 4 for like four or five years. And they've said the reason they do that is because none of the other games are ever as successful as their Black Ops 4 content for whatever reason. And I kind of get that feeling from Black Ops Cold War, but I still want to kind of explore just covering all bases of Call of Duty, right? And instead of just being, we're, we're doing Modern Warfare 3 because this is the most recent game and we're doing Black Ops Cold War because this is the most successful game. You know, I want to just cover all of the titles. You know, for a long, long time, I've had this idea of doing a COD Nostalgia series. So this could be a good way of stepping towards finally actually bringing that to the channel, covering the whole franchise and also with more discussion-based videos, I think that would all mold together really, really well, and then we'll still have the gameplay stuff in there as well. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing, guys. You know, 
for me this channel has never been about making it it's never really been about the views but obviously you know when you're up when you get to a certain point on youtube where you're averaging a certain amount of views when it drops below that you know it can be very challenging and that's kind of what we've had with some of these modern warfare 3 videos so far and you know don't get me wrong that's part and parcel of youtube right youtube is tough i always think you're only as good as your last video but i just feel like i need to try something new so we're going to stick with modern warfare 3 for the rest of the year i'll see what sort of feedback i get from you guys in this video and also the, the following videos up to the sort of christmas and new year and then we'll sit down and work out exactly what sort of 2024 is going to look like but as always guys i really appreciate all of you that are continuing to support the channel continuing to comment um you know like all that sort of stuff especially on some of my older videos i've had i think my more north 2019 ranking maps video has really been quite active recently with comments so yeah still cool to see that that's going on and my is black ops cold war worth it in 2023 video is still sitting in my top three most videos for the last 48 hours nearly every day which is just absolutely crazy so i appreciate all the love and support as always guys i hope today's video has kind of just helped you understand a little bit of where i'm at and um yeah if you are looking forward to the future please do hit the like button down below if you've got any thoughts please do let me know down in the comment section and as always guys i hope everyone has a great day and i'll catch you all in the next one